Lost Cause Ranch. Unfortunately, we're back here again with the Eco Disco and we got more issues. A couple weeks ago, I was driving this guy into work and we, we started climbing the temp gauge. Ended up having the wrong coolant mix in it and we created a slushy in the radiator. Therefore, no flow, therefore, no cooling. But luckily, we swapped the coolant out with the correct mixture, and we have not had issues on that front since then. But the other morning, another issue that landed the Eco right there. Before we get into that, let's get to the hat giveaway from a week ago. All it was was follow us on Instagram, and we randomly picked one of the followers, and that ended up being... Chromathius will reach out to you and send you a message and get your address and get you a hat sent out. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video. We're gonna have a question for you to answer in the comments down below. And we will pick one of you who comments for another hat to give away next week. So our issues with the XD, we're gonna pop in and fire this guy up. A couple mornings ago, we were parked roughly in that area and we backed up to this area and that is where she lies i mean i know i bought a yellow discovery but i didn't want to buy a lemon but genius me bought a 215,000 mile land rover thinking i could just drive it without issues so that's more my fault than the car's fault i was just hoping we could not have to tear into this one too deep but it looks like we're gonna have to set some time aside in the shop to give this thing a real good once over and go through it and sort out some issues but what happened? Let's crank this guy over. Starts up fine, right? Turns fine, right? Maybe maybe it turns too easy. But here, you can see the wheel and you can see the tire. Oh, yep. We're turning that. Oh, yep. Doesn't look like that tire's moving. Oh, we're still turning the wheel. So yeah, that was an interesting deal. We're backing up right down here. Backed it into that spot. Then it quit turning. Pretty fortunate that the steering decided to break right here in the driveway next to the Risco Disco. Instead of going down the highway, that could have been a little more uh, butt puckering, I guess you could say. This is a first time for me on a Land Rover to have this particular issue. So we obviously have a disconnect from the steering wheel down to the wheels because it just doesn't do anything. But by my diagnosis up here, it feels like there's still some resistance. So I think the steering wheel is connected to the column. So it's not like the nut came loose and is spinning that direction. So it leaves us to look down here and we got our steering shaft right there going into the gearbox. So my thoughts were it was either steering shaft or maybe the gearbox itself stripped out. Let's see what happens when we spin the wheel. So I want you to focus your attention right there. That is the lower steering joint that connects into the gearbox. All right, we're turning the wheel right now and you may be able to hear that. The shaft is spinning. Yeah, that's no good. That shaft spins, but the gearbox does not. We stripped out that aluminum U-joint coupler. That guy is splined and slides onto the gearbox shaft. But yeah, now, now, now it's just smooth on the inside and no longer splined. So the aluminum gave up the ghost. This guy has been having some intermittent power steering issues. It's got the GM pump conversion. I'm guessing with that conversion, it's had power steering issues for a while and probably had too much stress on that joint. Or maybe the joint wasn't tightened down correctly because that bolt is loose right now. I'm guessing the joint was probably not tightened down correctly last time it was off. But that's the way it goes. You buy a 215,000 mile Land Rover, you get to find a bunch of different oddball issues like frozen coolant, steering, no steering. I'm just happy that this went in the driveway, but that just solidified the decision to make sure we go in and kind of tear this guy down a little bit and give it a good thorough once over because we don't need any more oddball safety issues like that. And I think we're gonna go beyond the typical scope of safety inspection and do something in depth. We could rob one off the Risco Disco and get the Eco Disco running, but that would disable the Risco Disco and would still leave us with a Land Rover stuck in the driveway. And I like messing around in the Risco Disco in the woods, so, so I'd rather just buy a used one. We have a bunch of D2 parts, but 
that doesn't help us in a D1. So there's where we stand on the old Eco D1 currently. Um, we're gonna have to do like, we're gonna do some other stuff, but we gotta get that thing sorted to where I can drive it every day without dying. That would be nice. And as you saw in the beginning of the video, we have the Bob Kitty home. This guy is a typical Joe project and we ended up needing to pull the engine and right after I bought it, but serves its purpose. We sold the old Kubota tractor, which was what we needed to plow the drive. So I had to go find something until we can find a track skid steer. But even though this thing is a turd, it's my first skid steer. And man, they're they're fun. This this guy will push some Land Rovers around here. It's a good thing we have plenty of broken Land Rovers for this guy to come. We have one more cool Land Rover that we should have a video on next week. You guys should be excited about that. It is currently en route from the Northeast to the Midwest, another rescue. But with that being said, we're gonna do another hat giveaway. And my question for you guys is, what would you prefer for a video schedule? So here's roughly what I was thinking. You're welcome to chime in with something else, but what would you guys like? Would you like to watch three, five to eight minute short videos a week, two 10 to 15 minute videos, or would you like one 20 to 25 minute video? So just let me know down below and we're gonna pick one of you who comments down below and send you a hat and we'll announce that next video. If you found our disco troubles entertaining, I mean, we're the gluttons for punishment. You can live vicariously through us. We can spend our money to keep you entertained in Land Rover misery. But if you like that, give us a like down below and subscribe for more. We have plenty of Land Rovers, which means we have plenty of problems. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. I dropped a bag of corn and Sasha thinks she's a deer. Great.